Uh, I'm Peter Glover, I'm part of the AHP team within NHS Education for Scotland. I've heard a lot of discussions about co-production and been reading about it, I understand some of the concepts within it, but I wanted to come and actually meet with people and understand how those concepts are actually being applied into real life, into yeah, services in Lanarkshire. My name's Jackie Melville. Um, I work for Voluntary Action North Lanarkshire um, and I would like to welcome you all to the study visit on co-production. What we're going to do today um, is we're going to take you through our journey in co-production with regard to reshaping care. We're going to start from a strategic perspective and we're going to work our way back to how we were involved in the community. Kenny Moffat is our Chief Executive and, and as I say from the point of view of the third sector um, has obviously got that um, top strategic overview. Thanks Kenny. Um, I would hope to give you a general overview of the approach that we've taken um, as a sector, as an organisation and as a partnership in North Lanarkshire. Um, and I want first of all to, to, to give you a, a flavour of the, you know, the, the fact that Liz, Constance and Annie are with us today as volunteers within the sector, as representatives of user and carer organisations, is indicative of the approach that's taken in North Lanarkshire across all levels of partnership. And I think they would, they would agree that the, the user and carers network and the sector are given a voice. We have equi you know, parity of esteem within uh, partnerships at all levels. And that's important uh, to understanding how things have, have, have uh, moved forward within the reshaping care for older people agenda and wider within the, the integration agenda as it unfolds for us. First thing I really should say is that the approach we've taken in relation to reshaping care for older people has really been predicated on a very strong partnership approach across all uh, community planning activity in North Lanarkshire. Since before community planning existed, the third sector has been represented at strategic planning tables. We have, a, have had a voice and we have had an influence. Kenny has covered much of what <clears throat> I might have been saying, but I suppose it's maybe useful um, for partners around the table just to hear some of the building blocks that we had in place before <clears throat> reshaping care um, was um, introduced as a, as a policy across Scotland. We did have a very strong history within health and social work um, of close working relationships with the forums and um, through <coughs> consultation. And, and that was, I mean, we'd worked very hard at that over the previous decade, longer actually, um, 15 years, before reshaping care, <coughs> really to get really to achieve meaningful consultation and that very often meant linking in with local groups before we started writing the joint community care plans um, and then writing the community care plans together and then again consulting on them if somebody had had some sort of traumatic um, incident such as a fracture how could we support people back in the community and and help them develop their networks back into the community and some people, older people particularly, can become isolated very quickly. Um, you know, death of a spouse, they can just be ill, just have the flu for three weeks, um, have, a, have a, a fall, not necessarily a fracture, but a fall, lose confidence very quickly and, and we need to be aware that we need to reconnect people back in. So I think it's quite important to know all of that as part of the background for, for uh, I suppose, the developments around um, community capacity building. I'm Diane Stewart from CVS Falkirk District, Third Sector Interface. I am looking forward to sharing best practice and um, hopefully, because this is a TSI, hopefully sharing different ways of doing things. Co-production to me is um, solid partnership with the sectors, but also highlighting that how can you reshape services for older people without having older people at the table and heavily involved in the in the planning and designing of services for them. I think we've all established <laughs> what we mean by community capacity. So don't want to worry too much about that slide. Um, what I would say though is that this is this is the setup in North Lanarkshire. We already had a really vibrant and active community, and I think everybody across Scotland has that, obviously to varying degrees, but certainly we had it. And then through the, the, the resource that was allocated to us, we got that additionality um, and, and obviously together with the, with the um, hospital care and, and social services, um, what we're trying to achieve is this really. It's a personal outcome. Different things matter to different people and through community capacity and carer support, 
and of course hospital and statutory care. Um, this is what we're hoping to achieve. We're hoping to pull the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle together for everybody. And that's what community capacity building does. It not only provides some of the pieces, but the way we set it up and the governance and that strategic approach means that we've got the picture so we can attach the pieces. And, and th that's what we're trying to do. Um, we recognised that we needed everybody involved at all levels. It's explained that all partnerships require a little give and take. This is untrue. Any partnership demands that we give and give and give and give. This is what we found, all of us around this table, all the representation that we have to do, Stephen in, in defence of the acute sector, gives and gives and gives and gives. Um, Sandra having an overview of everything, gives and gives and gives and gives. Liz turning up here and to Edinburgh at the last second, phoning me the day before to find out where she's supposed to be, gives and gives and gives and gives. And that's what everybody within this partnership has had to do but crucially has committed to doing. And that's a really, really big thing. And as Kenny said, that never took us a fortnight. My name's Annie Johnston. Uh, I have an MBE and uh, I am with the voice of experience. Well, I'm hoping I can go back to the, the sheltered complex and impart what has happened here to be able to let people understand just what is out there for them. They can enjoy life as long as they can.